Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics and before we will start, I just want to let you know guys that learning from others is one of the vital ingredients for achieving proficiency. Okay, so if you learn something from me, don't hesitate to share it to others. Instead, be proud of it because you deserve it. So guys, without any further ado, I'm gonna show you what we are gonna be making today. Let me begin by creating a new composition, name it Logo Placeholder. Thirty-eight forty by 2160, 30 frames per second and the duration is 14 seconds, click OK. Then go to your project panel and open this folder assets, open images, drop the logo down into the timeline, press S on your keyboard, scale it down to 32%. You adjust the scale depending on the logo you have, okay? Go to Composition, create a new composition. Name it Smoke. 340 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 14 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to your project panel and open this Smoke Sequence folder. Drop this Smoke Sequence into the timeline. Press this on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it up till the footage is fit into the canvas. Then highlight it, right click your mouse, go to time, enable time remapping, extend this layer up to the end of the timeline, and also the keyframe. Go to composition, create a new composition, name it reflection map. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 14 seconds duration, click OK. Go to your project panel and drop this reflection into the timeline. Go to effects and preset, go to SLIs, add motion tile. Change the output width to 1000 and output height is 850. Check the mirror edges, make sure that this effect is highlighted. Create a keyframe by hitting this tile center and move your blade at the end of the timeline and move this anchor point on the right side like that then go to composition create a new composition name it logo reflection Third, 40 by 2160 30 frames per second and the duration is 14 seconds go to the project panel open it up drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline also the reflection map disable the visibility of your logo placeholder go to effects and preset go to stylize cc glass open the surface change the bump map to logo placeholder change the softness to 10 the height is 10 and the displacement is 50 then go to effects and preset go to distort add cc blob lies open blobness Change the blob layer to logo placeholder. Change the softness to 15. Cut away 0. Then change the track material to alpha matte. Go to effects and preset. Go to blur and sharpen. Pass box blur. Change the iteration to 1. And the blur radius is 1. Now go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it text. Change the width to 1000. And the height is 200. 30 frames per second and the duration is 14 seconds. Click OK. Zoom it in. Enable Tile Action Save. Grab the text tool and type tagline here. Make sure that the text is center text. Then align it at the center. I'm using Roboto Condens, regular, 100 pixels, and the tracking character is 100. Then make sure this anchor point is at the center of your text. Then expand the layer, click this animate, and add tracking. 
make sure that your plate is at the beginning of your timeline make a keyframe on the tracking amount change the amount here to 36 then move your plate forward to 3 seconds duration change this tracking amount to 0 now go to composition create a new composition name it text reflection animate change the width to 3840 and the height is 2160 30 frames per second and 14 seconds duration click ok so now I'm gonna open project assets duplicate this reflection map by pressing my keyboard ctrl D then right click my mouse to rename it text reflection double tick this to open it up go to composition and go to composition settings change the composition settings to 1000 and the height must be 200 same frame rate and same duration click ok zoom it in highlight the reflection and go to the effects control open it up and change the output height to 250 and highlight this text reflection type it down into the timeline the text just above the text reflection disable the visibility of the text then highlight the text reflection go to effects and preset go to stylize cc glass open the surface change the bump map to text go to effects and preset go to distort add cc blob lies open blabbiness change the blob layer to text change the cut away here to zero go to your timeline toggle switches modes in here change the track mat to alpha mat you can see this is what we want so now go to composition create a new composition name it main 340 by 2160 30 frames per second and 14 seconds duration click ok open the project panel and drop down this logo reflection into the timeline move your play to 4 seconds press open bracket key to move that layer press T on your keyboard for opacity toggle switch this mode in here make it a 3d layer press shift p for the position change the y position here to 768 then move your play to the 5 seconds duration create a keyframe on the opacity change the value here on the opacity to 0 then move your play to 7 seconds duration create a keyframe on the position change the opacity here to 100% move your play to the 8 seconds duration change the z value on your position to 795 then move forward your play again to the 10 seconds duration create a keyframe by hitting this tiny diamond on the opacity forward your play to the end of your timeline change the value on the opacity to zero then go to the project panel and drop down this smoke into the timeline now go to effects and preset go to color correction try tone change the color highlight here i will just type the code 3d98 click ok change the mid tones type the code 155f71 move back my playhead to the nine seconds duration Press T on my keyboard for opacity. Create a keyframe on the opacity by hitting the stopwatch and move your play to the 10 seconds duration and set the opacity here to 0. Then open project panel and drop down this text reflection animate into the timeline. Move your play to the 7 seconds duration and press open bucket key to move that layer. Press T on your keyboard for opacity. Create a keyframe on the opacity by hitting the stopwatch icon change the value here to 0 then move forward your play to the 8 seconds duration then change the opacity value here to 100% then move forward your play to the 12 seconds duration create a keyframe by hitting this tiny diamond then move forward your play at the end of the timeline and set the opacity here to 0 go to your project panel open it up and highlight this lower texture PNG drop it down into the timeline disable the visibility go to layer create a new adjustment layer 
move this adjustment layer just above the texture reflection animate go to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen add compound blur change the layer to floor texture be sure that this stretch map to fit is checked and i will highlight the text reflection animate smoke and logo reflection enable 3d layers Press my keyboard control D to duplicate it, drag it up above the adjustment layer. Then I will highlight logo reflection at the bottom. Press U on my keyboard to see the keyframes. Delete all the position keyframes. Close it. Highlight it. Move your playhead probably 5 seconds to see the logo. Maybe forward like that. Then go to layer and go to transform. Transform it vertically. Move it down like this press on your keyboard s for the scale then disable the scale proportion on the three compositions i will change the y position on the text reflection animate to negative 20. the smoke i will change this to 28 and the logo reflection i will change this to 6. then i will highlight this logo smoke and logo reflection press p on my keyboard for the position i like this text reflection animate shift p for the position change the y position on the text reflection animate to 1985 change the y value on the smoke to 2045 on the logo reflection i will change the y value to 2070.8 and i will change this z position to 18.6 so now i'm gonna go to my project panel and drop down this sound effects into the timeline i will just mute this first move or play it forward to see what's happening here so as you can see that our logo is here all you have to do is to highlight the logo reflection on top press p on your keyboard for the position and make sure that your playhead is on the seven seconds duration drag down your logo just to fit the formation of the smoke now if we will move forward our playhead you will see the text is at the center I like this text reflection animate, press P on your keyboard for the position, drag it down. Now go to composition, create a new composition, name it final. Trade 40 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 14 seconds duration, click OK. I will highlight this main and drop it down into the timeline, then preview it. when you see that the smoke is not fit to our canvas all you have to do is to go back to main highlight this smoke press s on your keyboard for the scale just change this scale to 101 all you have to do is to go back to final open it up and preview this again so now as you can see here that our smoke fits to our canvas so guys we are done with our tutorial and for those people who are not yet subscribing my channel please subscribe like comment press also the notification bell so that you will be notified if i have videos to upload in the coming days for those graphic designers don't stop motivating yourself to become creative okay so guys thank you very much for watching and i hope that you like it and you learn from it and see you on my next video god bless